Y'all, 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 what up, what up, what up, what up, my good people in the YouTube world? This is your boy B, and I'm right back up at you guys with another video, man. And let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. The world reveals itself, my people. I don't know what this reality is, but it's something that you can never, ever, ever imagine. It's living. It's living. Like, Take all the conceptions that you got of up and down and put them together. And can you think of something that's up and down? Take what you think of left. Take what you think of right. Take what you think of center. Mix them all together. Can you describe that? Take what you think of the past. Take what you think of the future. Take what you think of right now and mix them all together. And this is what this universe is. And can't nobody, nobody, nobody Explain it, my people, man. It's an enigma wrapped in an enigma that's 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 cloaked <laughs> in a fabric that you can't see. Nature is crazy, my people. It's crazy. As you get older, you start asking the real world questions. But are you ready to deal with the answers, man? Are you ready to deal with the answers? Like I, I I think about stuff, man. You know? Think about stuff. And it's like, the more you think that this world revolves around you, the more you're going to be locked up in thinking about the world revolves around you, you know? But once you start seeing that you're like, you know, there's, there's different yous, my people. There's different yous. Like, there's sometimes... Where I'm getting mad. And then something inside of me be like, yo, Brad, calm down, Brad. Why, why you getting so mad over this? And it's like a calming voice that I got to my own self. There's times when I'm getting angry. And I'm like, yo, Brad, what the, like, why you getting so mad? Why you getting so mad, son? Why that bother you so much? Get to that. What's behind that? Like, why it bother you? Then you start realizing... That nothing personal, son. It ain't nothing personal. So you zoom out of who you think you are and what you start seeing. It's crazy, yo. It's crazy. You start seeing higher, like, uh, different types of values. You understand what I'm saying? And, like, once you start seeing those higher values, you start seeing that, okay, I'm an individual. But an individual... It's nothing. It's like taking an ant. One single ant can do nothing to the ant colony. But you take that one individual ant and you take that mentality and multiply it by a thousand, then it could do away with the whole mentality. So higher feelings and thoughts start developing. And this is, I think, is the God level, people. I think that that's the God level. Like, I think that that's when you start getting on the God level. When you start seeing that I'm an individual, I have, a, you know, an individual idea. You know, there, there's ways that I take in data through my eyes because they personal to me. That's, that's my individual view on it. But on a higher level as a species and for all of us to survive, that that's the God level. That's the God level. And, then, and, and, that, and, and, and what's going to make the individual survive depends on the environment. The environment in which they're living in. So what happens is, if I am, in fact, on this earth right now, then that means I've represented some ideas that were successful. That those ideas that you can't touch that's intangible, we're being passed on from generation to generation to generation and generation. And guess what? Just the fact that we here shows that it works. And I think that these ideas, which are outside of the individual that thinks about systems, and I think that that's what humans create, systems. We create systems, and that's what creates us. That's what makes us human. That's the that's the father, son. That's the father. 
That's all I got, man. I'm over here sounding crazy. We're going to get more into it. Jim.